Hi kids, welcome to Fun Learning. I hope you're preparing well for your Olympiads and our videos are helping you. Well, here is one more to help you prepare for your upcoming Olympiad exams. Today we are going to solve the Science Olympiad for Grade 2 and we have taken the 17th SOF National Science Olympiad paper and we'll be focusing on the logical reasoning part. So let's get started. Our first question is, which of the following parts will complete the pattern in figure X? So let's enlarge this figure X and we are supposed to find which block will fill up this empty quadrant. So kids, why don't you try to solve this? If you've done it, let's now try to match our answer. To solve this, the best approach is to complete the figure. Let's start from this bottom corner. So it will have a square here. Then coming to the center, there will be an arc. And then joining the line, a smaller arc. Going up, there's a line here. And then an arc here. So this completes our figure. Now let's try to match it with the options. Now this figure has three shapes on the corners. That is one square and two arcs. Now, the option C does not have shape in the topmost corner, so this is not our option. Option D, if you look at it, does not have a square but a rectangle in one of the corners, so it's not our option. Now, next is option A, which has some sort of an intersection which does not appear in our figure. So, this is also not the correct option, leaving with us the correct option being option B. Next question is, find the odd one out. Now kids, if you look at this figure carefully, you may get the correct answer. So why don't you try? Well, if you've tried, let's see what the correct answer is. If you notice, each butterfly has some dots on its wings. That's our clue. So on option A, the dots on both the wings of the butterfly are equal. Similarly, on option B, they have equal number of dots. In option D, also they have equal number of dots. But in option C, they don't have equal number of dots. That's why the correct answer for this is option C. Our third question is, Dash will replace the question mark in the given number pattern. This is the number pattern. The options are option A 95, option B 90, option C 85, option D 105. Well, to see this figure clearly or this number pattern clearly, I have enlarged it here. Why don't you try to solve and then we will look together at what would be the answer. If you look at this number pattern, we should identify what is the distance between two points. By distance, I mean what is the difference between the next block and the previous block. In this case, 38 minus 19 gives 90. And if you notice, all the remaining blocks have a difference of 19. That means each block jumps by 19 points. So if we come to 76 and we calculate the red block, it should be 76 plus 19, which is 95. And similarly, 95 plus 19 is 140. So our correct answer is option A, 95. Our next question is, if star, this figure, is related to 12, then the other figure is related to what? Is it option A 16? Is it option B 12? Is it option C 14? Or is it option D 8? Why don't you guys give it a try? So let's see how this should be solved. Well kids, if you look at this figure here, let's count its vertex. That is the corner points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, this has 
12 vertices or 12 corner points. Let's apply the similar relationship on this figure and then we'll get what the number would be. So let me now count the vertices or the corner points for this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this relates to 16. So our correct answer is option A which is 16. Question 5 is dash is the heaviest and dash is the lightest. And there are four figures given for you to solve this. The options from which you need to choose from is option A. P is the heaviest and R is the lightest. Or option B. P is the heaviest and Q is the lightest. Or is it option C. R is the heaviest and S is the lightest. And the last option is option D. S is the heaviest and Q is the lightest. Try to solve it. So let's approach it together. The first figure shows Q is heavier than S because you see the pan for Q is lower than the pan for S in the balance beam. So Q is heavier than S. Let me write this clearly so that we can draw the relationship. The next figure shows that P is heavier than Q. That means P is heavier than Q and Q is heavier than S. The next figure shows that R is heavier than Q. Okay, so we have R that is heavier than Q. But we don't know if P or R which one is the heaviest. In the last figure, it indicates that R is heavier than P. Okay, that means R comes first and hence R is the heaviest while S is the lightest. So our right answer is option C, that is R is the heaviest and S is the lightest. Next question is, if the chair and the book are interchanged in their positions, then element dash will be the fourth to the left of the chair. This is the sequence or order of the objects that are kept and based on the sequence and the instructions given above, we have to choose the correct answer. Is it A, T? Is it B, R? Is it option C, W? Or is it option D, V? Give it a try and then we'll solve it together. So here is our sequence of objects and the question says that they need to interchange the positions of book and chair. So if we interchange it, the final sequence will be something like this. And then we need to find what element will be fourth to the left of the chair. So this is the left direction, this is the right direction. Fourth element to the left is one, two, three, four. That is the option B, that is R, the table. Next question is, there are dash squares and dash circles in the given figure. The options are, a 2 squares and 25 circles, B 3 squares and 23 circles, C 1 square and 24 circles or D 2 square and 24 circles. Pause the video, enlarge the picture and try to get the answer. Let's solve it together. So given picture has some squares and circles. So let's count them carefully. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 here, 10, 11 circles. These are very clear. Now look at the wheels. Here there are two circles on each wheel. So we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then the remaining smoke wheels. That is 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there are 24 circles. So the correct answer would be either option C or D. But how many squares? Well, if you look carefully, there are two clear squares. So our answer is option D. 
Our next question is select the incorrect match. On first column there are some objects given and on the next column they have given the equal number of objects tied in the group. For example, for A it says four groups of four items each. B says two groups of five items. C says three groups of six items and D says five groups of two items. Try to solve this and after a while we'll solve it together. So let's look at it. At option A it says four of four that means four groups with four items. Let's try to group them into fours. First group, this is our second group, our third group and our fourth group. So option A is a correct match. So that's not an incorrect match. Let's look at option B. It says two groups of five items. Let's see here. This is the first group with one, two, three, four, five items. And this is the second group. So option B is also the correct match. Hence not our answer. Let's look at option C. It says three of six. That means three groups of six items each. Well, we can find three equal groups, but they are not of six. They are of three items. So C looks to be an incorrect match. But let's also look at D which says five groups of two items. So we can form five groups of two items each. Hence, our right answer is option C which is the incorrect match. The ninth question reads, if today is Monday, then day after tomorrow will be what? Option A, Saturday. Option B, Friday. Option C, Wednesday or option D Thursday. Let's clearly write the days of the week and then approach this. Are you able to get your answer? Let's try to match it now. If today is Monday, then day after tomorrow. So this is tomorrow and day after tomorrow will be Wednesday. So the correct answer is option C. Our next question, question 10 is, Dash is shaded with red and dash is shaded with blue in the given figure. This is the given figure. We have to identify what are these dashes. Option A is it square and circle? That is square is shaded with red and circle is shaded with blue. Is it option B rectangle is shaded with red and square is shaded with blue? Is it option C that circle is shaded with red and rectangle is shaded with blue? Or is it option D that triangle is shaded with red and circle is shaded with blue? This is an easy one. The one that is with a red side shaded is a cuboid, hence which are made up of rectangles. Rectangle. And the other with the blue side shaded is a cube which is a square. The side of a cube is a square. So the correct option is B. That is rectangle is shaded with red and square is shaded with blue. Well kids, hope you enjoyed this solving of logical reasoning section and we solve science section and the achiever section in our upcoming videos. To have more such practice do like and subscribe to this channel so that you are notified of the new videos that we put in. If you have any suggestions or advice on how we should approach the solving, do write them to us or put in the comment section below. Till we meet again, take care.